Well, hello, Merlins and Serlins. I'm the F-Bomb, in my white uniform today. Today I'm wearing the whites, and I'm here in Nick Broink, and we're here, we're here to go over a spaceship. We're here to go over the Obelisk Carrier. Here it is, the beautiful Obelisk Carrier. It came with what you see, and it came with a... Dual Anti-Proton Beam Bank Mark X, which has a DPS of 209, a 208, and it also came with, I believe it came with this, the Matter Anti-Matter Warp Core Mark X. The reason I'm going to, I bring that up right now, is because you do this from, you get this ship for free for, two, you can get the ship two ways. One way, the way I got it, is you can get it for free. Uh, you can get it by doing the sphere of influence mission which I'll have an annotation to the entire mission uh, if you don't know if, you, if this is your first time ever going on YouTube you, you're gonna click on the screen right now it'll be over the ship here and it'll bump you it'll open in a new tab because that's the way I want it to work into a new mission uh, a new mission a new video and then you can watch the whole mission I'm gonna do that one because I want more views on that video <laughs> the other reason is that mission the Sphere of Influence mission is an event mission. It it only exists during, and it only did exist during, because I'm saying this now, but later it will be past tense, uh, from October 31st, 2013 to December 5th, 2013. That's the only time you could have done this mission, and that was the only time you've got, you could have gotten this ship. Doing that mission you got the ship as a reward, you got XP and other stuff, but you, you can pick two other rewards, so I had to do the mission twice. You can get this special warp core, which it has all these stats here, but it's part of the obelisk technology set. And so is this anti-proton beam uh, array, which it looks like this ship is, it looks like this is not, like you, it looks like you could put this on other ships. Uh, not usable by warbirds. So it sounds like anything but the warbird. And what I want to see is the info for the sets. So, as of right now, because I have two out of three items, I get plus 10% anti proton damage. And then I can get enhanced carrier synergy. It says when you activate any energy power ability, your hanger pets will also activate a weak. At emergency power ability of the same type. Now, I don't think that's a correct terminology because they're not pets. They pets don't do combat. These do combat because this is a carrier. This ship, you know, has a hangar bay. It has two, and it came with these obelisk swarmers, which were seen uh, in the mission that you got this from. So before I actually go far around with the ship, I'm going to customize it. I'm just going to look at it better view for now boom so wow this is interesting uh, it's a big ship it is a big ship that's really cool this is a Voth ship which is the new enemy they've been talked about beforehand oh no the Iconian the Voth are working with the Iconians but the Voth are the big bad guys for season 8 you cannot pick a material it just comes with its sh ship type. Uh, what do I use? I use Orion, but as you can see, that doesn't do anything. You know, nothing. Nothing. No pattern. It's got Windows Type 1 or none, but as I haven't been able to see a difference. And it's got a special interior. It's got an obelisk interior, which we will go check out. We'll go check it out right now. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, uh, exit. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's let's go to the ship. We'll be back. We're going to the ship. So here we are, the gigantic freaking ship. I think I'm recording, right? Am I? Yep, I'm recording. Good. Sometimes it hides. It is a big ass ship. Um. There's there's a uh, scimitar class. If I can't, what is this? Shield capacitor. I don't remember if that's strictly for me or not. And why is this not on a full weapons go? 
Um, as you can see, this has a lot of engines on it. A lot of blue, purple, with black effect engines. It's a really pretty ship. And there's a Scimitar class. Scimitar, the Scimitar class uh, ship for the Romulans, if I'm not mistaken, it's the biggest ship in the game. Uh, or it's pretty damn close. And here, I'm bouncing off. It's This is just as big, if not bigger. We're going to show off the ships, the little fighters. Where's the fighters? They're supposed to be here. They're supposed to be here. Wait, where's my hangar bay thing? That's missing. Special ship tray. Shouldn't it be closer? Can I not... Can I not put my fighters out? Oh, whatever. We're going to stop. We're going to put them in an intercept so that way we can actually see them. And we're going to try to manipulate the camera once they stop moving. And try to manipulate the camera. Eh. Eh. Well, there is one of the... Oh, God. Oh, man. There we go. That's a better shot. Can I... Yep, there is one of the little fighters that come with the uh, ship. It is... They're pretty cool. They use anti-proton beams, so it's all about the anti-proton here. That's the one big thing about this ship, is that the fact that it has anti-proton. Anti-proton, if you haven't played it, is like the big powerhouse weapon in the game. Now let's just go, just go to full impulse to check out the engines, and look at that. It's nice and purple. It's pretty. But enough of this. Let's go look at... No. You know what? No. You have to find a different video to look at the bridge. There's going to be annotation. Go find your own goddamn video at the bridge. Thank you for the buff. We're going to go test the item. What is this? I don't know what this is. I don't know what I just activated. But we're going to look. We're going to come back. We're going to look at how this thing fires. How this omnidirectional anti-proton beam works. Where's the firing arc? Where's the firing arc? It's here, isn't it? This is it, right? Anti-proton array. Anti what? What? We'll, we'll be back. I'm stupid. Because I forgot something. I said you can get the ship two ways. The one way was from doing the mission, which I went over, and then going over it, I completely forgot that you can get this ship, a better version of this ship, in the Lobby Crystal Store. It's in Ships and Crew, and it's the Advanced Obelisk Carrier, which is the difference between a Mark X and a Mark X1, but... Universal... It says Reactive Anti... Proton Cascade Emitter. What I will assume, which I'll look in a second, is that's the last part of the th of this three-part set. We gotta get the info. It should say Reactive Anti-Proton Cascade Emitter. Yes. That's the third part of the set that comes with the ship, and the only way you can get it is if you get the Lobby Crystal Store version, which is what I fought Let's enjoy this. That's beautiful. So, those are the two ways you get the ship. Now I'm going to go use its weapons a little. I need to get... Oh, look! Sphere of Influence! There you go! Read it. Enjoy it. Damn it. I didn't get to finish my joke! Okay, here we are. We're going to beat up the Breen just to show off this ship on the screen. We're going to get the Tafari. We're going to do all this stuff. We want to suggest a trade, and then you're not getting my monies. So we're going to offer something else. And then we're going to find another option. We're going to analyze the risk and then attempt a pulse. We're going to fire it. We're going to transport the Tafari. Now if you want easy... Diplomat missions. This is the easiest mission to do it. Though you can only do it once a day. It's also one of the easiest ways to get freaking dilithium. That's it. I 
I transported them. Okay, whatever. It broke. So because this game's a big stinky willy, we're gonna shoot out these, and then we're gonna... Son of a bitch. Where's this, where's this button? Die! Die! What's so different about this stupid beam array? It doesn't really look like anything special about this beam array. Yeah, goddamn right target shield failed. It's because I'm the best! I'm the best around! And no one's ever gonna take you down! At that prime Tom Beams! Wow, these little fighters are doing a really good job. Well, let's just turn around so I can shoot some uh, photons or transphasic photons. Fire! Am I out of range? Looks like it. Yeah, that's always the best. My fighters killed them. Woo! I failed. All right. How the fuck did I fail? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, fine. Fuck it. That was stupid. Well, I showed off the weapons like I wanted you to see. That was stupid. How the hell did I fail? That always works. I feel like they've messed up my mission. Alright, let's see how this, how this is going. Uh, in progress. They broke my mission. They broke my mission. Where is it? Should be here. Do I just gotta like talk to you? Yeah, now I can't do it for a whole day. That's stupid. All right, well, we're gonna transwarp out of here. That was the last thing that I didn't show was trans transwarping. Fleet spire. Oh yeah, the fleet spire. It looks like they added more stuff. Okay, Earth space dock. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm the F-Bomb here on Nick Bro Inc. And thank you for watching.